Hello, I thought I would answer your question for you around how to uh, trim the start of a MIDI clip where you don't have any notes or you've got done the notes wrong or something like that. Um, so I've replicated what it sounds like I think you have in your project. We have a drum loop, just that, something I've got, got from Loop Cloud and then we have a bass, a couple of bass notes. This is using the Pigments Soft Synth. Right, but we have we have all of this white space here in the MIDI clip that we want to get rid of. So I'm gonna walk through three different ways to do that, uh, each with their uh, upsides and downsides, and then we'll have a look at a way to make it so you don't do that in the first place. So option number one, we're just gonna split the MIDI track, or the MIDI clip, sorry. Um, so we can press the S key on the keyboard to split and that will split the currently selected clip. So this works on audio clips as well. If you don't have any clip selected, it select it splits all clips at the cursor point. All right. So we're going to split the MIDI clip and now we can copy and paste this as we want. All right. So now that's great and that's the simplest and fastest way to solve that problem but it doesn't really solve the problem so if we extend this clip back out again you see that that white space is still there and if we have the clip set to loop when we loop it we get all the white space at the start as well it's kind of be to be expected we've split the clip not the actual uh, the event I think no we've split the event not the clip that's the, that's the right way around right so um, whereas uh, what we actually want to do is to fill that white space with notes or move notes into it so option two is to do exactly that we are going to in the piano roll we're going to control A to select all of the notes and we're just going to move them to the start of the clip. Not the very start because this note doesn't fall at the start but essentially to the same position at the start. And now what happens when we extend this clip is it loops automatically. We can see that the clip is actually shorter now because we don't have notes further on in the clip and uh, it should all loop just fine. Well, I have the loop selected, so uh, of course it's going to. All right, cool. So that's option two is manually have to move the notes, which can be a pain, but it's not a lot of pain. Option three, um, this is probably the worst option but it's nice to know that you can do this all right so i don't think a lot of people who use acid know that you can even do this so what we're going to do is we're going to root these uh, let's undo that so things are is that it no there we go so now we look at the clip we've got the white space back again what we're going to do here is we're going to root the midi from this track into another track and then record the rooted MIDI into a new clip. Uh, sounds complicated, it, it kind of is, but uh, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new MIDI clip, uh, I'm sorry, a new MIDI track, and then we're just gonna draw out uh, an empty clip on that track. It has no notes in it. And um, so the way MIDI works in ACID is we have a MIDI track with clips on it and as the clips are played the MIDI is rooted out of this track imagine a virtual audio or in this case MIDI cable I guess um, coming out of this track and it's fed into the MIDI bus that's created when you create a MIDI clip a MIDI track for the first time um, you can see 
buses this is the master bus and this is a midi bus by coming into here into the view menu and selecting show bus tracks okay so we have this cable coming out a uh, virtual cable coming out of this midi track or this midi clip and going into our midi bus and what we're going to do for here is we're going to take a copy of that message, those MIDI messages, and we're going to feed them into this track. Okay, so we right click on the MIDI track, go to input, and we're going to select, in this instance I'm using pigments, so pigments input, pigments is the name of the soft synth. For you it will be whichever synth you're using. We're going to arm that track to record, pop the cursor where we want it to start, and we're going to hit record and we'll see notes magically appearing into that new MIDI clip. Uh, unfortunately the magic is not too strong because they aren't aligned properly so uh, in this instance the, the, the easiest way to fix that is to select the MIDI recording, uh, control A and then just hit uh, the quantize option. That might not be uh, great in all cases but in this instance that works fine okay so that's the third option I guess we also want to cover inline recording because this is a bit funny so we've still got our uh, let's delete this we don't need that anymore we still have our MIDI clip here with the white space at the start now if we enable inline editing which is the G key I think you can control and there's another there's another keyboard shortcut but the G key is the simplest one and what this does is it essentially puts a piano roll in the timeline and this can be useful to edit this way um, to kind of pop in and out of inline recording can be useful um, you can also edit the uh, the clips this way and this is a bit misleading having it uh, using the inline editor because it looks like you can just do this right and that's essentially doing the same thing but it's useful to keep an eye on the pia the actual piano roll for the clip because you can see although we've moved the notes up here they haven't moved down here we haven't actually affected the uh, events the MIDI events. Uh, now I don't know a way to, other than the three ways I've just shown you, I don't know a way to do it properly. Like for example in another DAW, a famous one whose name begins with A, if we, um, I didn't want to do that, if we were to split this clip in another DAW it would actually um, tell the event to start here right but I can't see that option in in acid we do have event properties and we can set a start offset here but it still doesn't work the same way so it's it's just a bit I it's a bit counterintuitive in acid so this is essentially why we have the problem right so now the way to kind of not get into this mess because it's very simple to just come in and go right actually let's, let's just delete that and go right I'm going to create a new create a new clip no I want to create a new clip uh, create an empty clip All right and then let's open pigments up and, uh, right and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type tap some notes in here whilst recording this is probably what you've done and this is what you don't want to do essentially so we're going to come in here and hit record and then right then you come in and and, and that's not even done it properly but you know you get my point I've I've started recording at, at the bit before where I'm actually going to start tapping notes in and that's what you don't really want to do. So the proper way to do this is either 
start your loop a bit sooner, uh, sorry, a bit later, and have kind of a lead in to recording, or you can use the metronome. So you have a metronome count off. So uh, let's, I don't know really what happened with that. Make that uh, create an empty clip. Right. So let's do that again. And this time we've got the metronome count off on. So let's hit record, and we hear that tapping away. Right. So. That's the other way to do it, and that's if you if you use the metronome count off or start your project a couple of bars in, um, I think you'll basically not get yourself into this mess. Uh, anyway, hopefully that's useful. I t typically do rant on a bit with these, so um, but if you get any other questions, uh, just pop them in the form, and I'll uh, see if I can help that out on that as well. Good luck. <laughs>